Hello, my name is Marcus with MLC CAD Systems in Stillwater, Oklahoma, and I'd like to take you through a setup and an analysis inside SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. Now, the, the example that I'm trying to understand is the airflow through this uh, manifold. So I have an inlet out over here at one end, and then the air is being distributed to each of those six outlets. Now, to start using Flow Simulation, I don't have to leave SOLIDWORKS. I'm here inside SOLIDWORKS where I've been doing all my work and I don't have to uh, exit to a separate interface. All I have to do is just kind of jump in and turn on the flow simulation add-in and get to work. Now there is just a little bit of preparation that's going to be required to get this ready to roll for this analysis. The first thing you'll want to do is define for the software where the analysis is going to take place. Now I have a very large engine system that is in another assembly that involves my entire program and my entire project. For this purpose though, all I need is to understand the airflow through this one component. So I'm going to create some lids. Now these lids are going to cap the openings and create the fluid volume inside. There's a lid tool even that allows me to just click on these flat faces on each one of these part uh, openings and it just caps that opening making it possible for you to create and define the internal volume. So now SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation understands exactly where I'm going so I don't have to run a huge model to understand the impact and the performance of just this one design and this one shape. Now you need to make sure that you've closed everything correctly. Uh, occasionally, especially things like sheet metal enclosures, you may have openings and leaks and, and those leaks in reality are closed in or perhaps welded shut uh, but in your solid model they might be open. Uh, so in order to make sure everything's good to go uh, we have some geometry check options. Now I'm going to do a check and just make sure that everything looks okay and it's going to tell me that everything's fine. The geometry's okay, gives me an internal volume. I can also run things like interference detection, measurements, any other tools that are built into the SOLIDWORKS interface, but there's some additional tools that are specifically for flow. So for instance, in this case, I have an opening. I've just manually created that opening just to show what it would look like had something gone wrong. When I go into the geometry check option inside flow simulation, if I tell it to go check that internal geometry and there's a problem found, it tells me that this is not a watertight model but right here in the dialog, I don't have to go searching for it, is this option called leak tracking. Now with leak tracking, you basically say, okay, on this outside face, there's somehow a leak from here to the inside face, which is right here. And by telling it to find the connection, it sort of does a little trace, a little search to find the quickest way to get from point A to point B. And to go from the inside to the outside, the only way to get there is through the leak. And so inevitably it's going to find wherever that hole is and kind of draw a line to it to show me how to get there. It's kind of a cool little feature that helps to really uh, underscore uh, the importance of creating a nice tight closed environment and uh, making sure that you're ready to roll so that when you run this study, the software knows exactly what you're trying to analyze and where the analysis is going to be. So right here inside the interface, I'm now ready to roll with my flow simulation.